It's the Brew Review. Let's go. It's the Brew Review. Let's go. It's the Brew Review. Everybody get your hands up for the Brew Review. Come on, everybody, let's dip it on back. Body, head, and cap, show me what you got on that tap. Cause it's K-Dog and Mr. GMC. Everybody here knows that it's BYOB. Tell me how it tastes. Tell me, tell me how it smells. Is it that old bud or that yang lang hell? But it's time to get it started, so we started off right. It's the Brew Review, so we gonna party all night. Let's go. It's the Brew Review. Let's go. It's the Brew Review. Let's go. It's the Brew Review. Everybody get your hands up for the Brew Review. Alright, what's going on guys and gals? And we are back for yet another fun edition of the Brew Review. And what we got for you today is New Belgium Voodoo Ranger I I Voodoo spell IPA. Now. So it's an India Pale Ale. And we also had New Belgium Ranger not too awful long ago. And they're also the ones that made Fat Tire. Fat Tire. I'll put links to all the episodes below. They, they got the bicycle in there, the government warning as we do the rotisserie test. And there is your warnings if you wanna if you wanna pause it and tilt your phone. Still cracking me up with the. Uh, the and rest. maybe I'm stupid or something, but I notice they have New Belgium Brewing Company engraved in the neck of the bottle. Yes, I, I don't know if they do that or not. I have I? a fat tire in the, the freezer. We could look at it if we wanted to, but we'll so, do that after. Yeah. So there was your once around, your twice around, your your rotisserie shot around. So yeah. This links, is, links in the description. This is an IPA, brewed and bottled by New Belgian, Fort Collins, Colorado, and Asheville, North Carolina. 7% alcohol by volume. So, it's she's, modest. She's up there, bursting, bursting with tropical aromas and juicy fruit flavors from Mosaic and Amarillo hops. This golden IPA is perfectly bitter with a refreshing, sublime finish. So, at least it says it's bitter. Hmm. And since it, since you said we did Ranger, and this is Voodoo Ranger, so if you don't mind, before we open it, I have to do my thing here. Yeah, look at the, I mean, look at the, the skull and shit. I mean, it's, it's so, a cool packaging, too. So I'm putting, I have to do a Voodoo curse on it. Just drink out there! So, we're going to do the cap test, the button test, the drink test, the draft test, all that good stuff. So, without further ado, would you do the honors? I shall do the honors, since I've... I've and placed, I'm, I'm going to guess that you can't twist it off. Since I placed the voodoo curse on it. No. No, I placed the voodoo curse on you. Young lean to the rescue. I still won't forget that till this day. What, youngling? Yeah, the guy who's called it youngling. Yeah, is that youngling? What is that, youngling? Youngling, you fucker. Yeah, but we got owned in Vegas when we called it flat tire. Flat tire, but it's fat. Well, it smells like an IPA. <laughs> There's really no denying that. Grass. Fruit of grape, grass, what have you. It's definitely an IPA. I don't know. My luck with IPAs has been kind of hit and miss. Will you be a hit or will you be a miss? Let's find. This is a Colorado brew, by the way. Mm -hmm. There might be hemp in that. <laughs> there may be. <laughs> you know what? For an IPA, it actually goes down rather smooth. It's not harsh. It's not a harsh taste. The aftertaste is there, but it's not terrible. Dare I say, I... Kinda like it. He likes an IPA, people. I'd stick my dick in it. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. I can get it down without making the face that I usually do. See me, me. I usually can stone face everything. That alone is points enough for me. If I can drink it stone faced, that's something. All right, here we go. New Belgium Voodoo Ranger IPA. Let's try it. Put the other Voodoo carts on it. And I don't know if you can hear that or Flavors. not, but my children are in their cribs jumping up and down. So it may sound like somebody's getting it on upstairs. They're really not. 
That happened like over two years ago. Yeah. Well, you definitely get the IPA taste. Mm-hmm. But the aftertaste quickly goes away. Yeah. So it does not stick around. So if you're an IPA fan, highly, highly recommend it. Yeah. We're we're going with the Flying Fish Brewing Company here to help us out with our draft test. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna poo. And uh, uh, let's swirl a little bit, get some of the uh, the yeast if there's any on there. Uh, oh, good after burp too. Drip, 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 drip. Uh, as you see, it's you know IPA-ish in color. Let me go back around the stools here. Let's see. I'm trying to see if there's any cinnamon. I was looking. I, I can't see. find any. I, I did not see any cinnamon in there. But you get, there is a little bit of carbonation to it. Nothing on the bottom of the bottle either. You're gonna, there we go. Wow, they're jumping. Yeah. Oh, well, still tired of that. All right, all so I shall do do the drafter. Be the, yeah, do the honors. Do the honors. With most IPAs, they taste way better draft. Or at least tolerable. Yeah, you must draft that one. This one's no different. So, the, the sophisticated people, we hold it like this. And then we swear it right there. So we talk about how a golf club cost $3,000. <laughs> and I, I had it on the green yesterday. <laughs> the factory in Berlin, my Rolls Royce broke. Really? Yeah, really. I hope you got a tree called good man. And I hope you slogged the poor man that put it in there. <laughs> Definitely draft it. Highly, highly, highly recommended. I... Yeah. If you're an IPA fan, I'd say a straight five. Yeah, That's I mean, my IPA rating. If you, yeah, if you like IPAs, it's it's definitely up there. 7% alcohol, though. You drink a six-pack of this, you're going to be good to go. Yeah, but it's not as strong as a lot of the other ones, either. It's kind of like right in the middle. Yeah. Uh. Good after burp, not a harsh after burp. I think if we would have drank this one of the first times we did the brew review, I probably would have spit it out. Maybe not actually spit it out, but... I probably would have had the same uh, reaction I had with Hellraiser all the way back in the day. We've learned a lot over the years of the brew review. Yeah. We've learned, like, beer is an acquired taste. If you mix too many different kinds together, you get sick. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, yeah. Usually my rating would be I would give it my IPA rating, which would be if you like IPAs, you drink it. I'm actually going to go a little step ahead. I will go ahead and give this a four. A four. Four out of five. I very rarely do that for an IPA, but again, I could drink this without getting the bitter beer face. Um, it doesn't have the harsh aftertaste like the other ones used to have. I like it. It's damn near good, to be I'm, honest. I'm going to say like my usual rating. I'm uh, IPA rating five. I'm going to say four and a half, my usual rating. Yeah. So, yeah, New Belgium. You're on the good again. New Belgium's employee owners would love to see you enjoying our beer. New Belgium and NewBelgium.com. Damn it! Why didn't we know that before? <laughs> Maybe we can post a link to our, our New Belgium videos on their website. Yeah, really. Because, I mean, we... So far, New Belgium's been up there pretty good. I know we like Fat Tire. Fat! Yeah, even though we fucked it up. Fat! Tire. And I think we liked Ranger. And, of course, the Voodoo Ranger. Yeah, not a bad product from these guys. So, yeah, New Belgium, thumbs up to you. Oh, yeah. Kudos. If we ever do get our video on your website, there you go. But, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode of The Brew View featuring New Belgium Voodoo Ranger. Voodoo Ranger. And, yeah, tune in next week, and we'll see you later.